Hello, Johnny Club time here with one of my biggest hosts in in about a whole year. This time it's a mixture of online purchases and physical purchases. I'm quite excited to show you my entire haul for this year. <laughs> I didn't expect to find that many good stuff both online and physical stores. Before we start on the top row, uh, this cost me... The whole thing cost me around... About four, over 4,000 Philippine pesos? But like... Yeah, it's one of my most expensive homes. But first we're gonna start off with familiar territory here. The... The new case of car culture. And the new... Case of modern classics as well. The Nissan 300 ZX Twin Turbo. I bought these at a local Toys R Us, and it's quite excited because I I still can't find the Alfa Romeo 33. This is one of my favorite castings of 2020. One of my favorite castings. But it took me. Copy is supposed to be stable, but like, yeah, it's cool. I was quite excited when I saw this on store in the Toys R Us. This one is in pretty good condition, but a terrible card. I saw the other one that's on like, um, um, nearly perfect card, but that one was paying blemishes. So I bought the one with a terrible card and with less pay blemishes. Not the car. Yeah, this is yeah, this is has a wall of le less paint blemishes. You see, this is noticeable on the bonnet right here. And now we're going to, to do Tomica. Well, I didn't get that much Tomica stuff compared to was last month. Yeah, last month. I'm going to buy this one a month before, but I I went with even models instead. So it's my first Ambil Tomica Premium in, what is it, 2-3 months? And this one is also a Toyota. So we got the Toyota Premium, so we got the Toyota, sorry. But in the Tomica Premium, I had to buy the Nintio. So the sorry, press suspension and opening doors. It's, but let's open this. Still in Toyota territory, the Toyota Line Cruiser. I, I was thinking of buying this one month before. Uh, month before, but I, I just, I just couldn't find any intro, couldn't find anything that can go with it, so I passed out for. Uh, yeah, so I passed up a good few times, but now I finally have it on my collection. I'm having trouble focusing. Nice, right, so I just want to wait. The only premium brand that I got this month is the recent released Mini GT Honda S CR. I still can't get that for GT. When I check back, I am um, I was late for that, and I have to get the S two thousand. I have to get the S two thousand instead. But is this one worth it? Let's see it. In the back it says, yeah, Mini GT is, part, is a part of the TSM model family. And then the TSM log, the logo right there. Then the license info and the hologram here.
Well, Disney, Mattel, Disney cars. So we start off with a Cruising Ramon from 2007 in the Supercharged series. This, this should be, uh, yeah, this, this should be uh, price tag. It should be around four dollars back then or two fifty. Yeah, quite little back. You can see their mission with 2005 prototypes and new prototype picks. Uh, this is back when Mattel alternated within with China and Thailand. There we go. It's my first ever using cars hole in a very very long time. Because we never got the, the 2021 packaging here yet in, in the Philippines at least. I think these are well distributed in other Southeast Asian countries. I'm not entirely sure though. But here, yeah, here's Cruising Ramon. Oh, my bad. Wow. It should be from. Yeah, China. And now we're gonna go to 2008 with the World Cars era. And we got the Race Official Tom. And then, and then starting in 2008 until 20, until Cars 3, they numbered them. Let's see, Dirt Truck McQueen, Tom McQueen, and then new to 2008, Pit Remember Guido. Yeah, this, yeah, uh, yeah, Michael is in, Yeah, this guy's name is Michael Schumacher, and yet they didn't have the licensing for Michael, so they used the Royal licensing instead. Pretty nice. <sighs> he's out. He's out in. He's in a white pack with a pack with a fan ticket, the king and McQueen from. Vietnam. We don't have him get a two get a two pack from Taiwan. I never found race official Tom in it. I never found any new two packs. Like the Jot in the day Ray Abraham Lower Spring World two pack because these are because these in cars aren't simply this distributed here anymore, which is kind of sad. A cars, as a cars fan, it's painful. It's, it's a pain to say this really. Oh wow, that, yeah, it's kind of pretty tight there. You see the info right there. I can drop the thing. So now we're gonna so now we're gonna go straight to the race on Roma series. You got a one time release wonder. Number number there we go. Number 86 chunk manifold. Now this would be funny this would be funny if it just was chip hicks and not chunk manifold. <laughs> this is number 86. Oh yeah, it's got a little poster right there. We will read that. No, nothing on the card back. It says, Meet my friend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then call it by different color. And this is yeah, this, the now default game. Oops. Ugh, this, yeah, this, this is not. 
Yeah, the plastic shock isn't helping either. Yeah, I didn't like this. Yeah, it's like it's easier. There we go. And the little poster right here. The yellow, the yellow tickets are the re-releases. I'm listening with re-releases and new releases like yellow little moon i think he was for i think this is from the supercharged series this is new to the recent rama series and brand new meta i think he's new has been here since uh to either he was something like supercharged see the red ticket bob cut last race cars one the cars one version bob exact Michael, and then Mario and Dretti with the yellow rims for some reason, and then Panico McQueen and Rotor Tuborski, who didn't get named until 2015. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the Radiant Spring series, the McQueen series, or something. Oh, yeah, let's get Chuck. Yeah, it's got the colon there. Interesting. Love it. But yeah, this is the horse tune. And the toe, I love his toe, is the, is the place where you hang it. And this is number three, Resident Squad Trooper. Because they start off with Resident Squad Maker. 450. 450 back then. At Kmart. Back, num the first one is Brett McQueen. <laughs> As we didn't know already. Nurse Cody, I had I had Nurse G, I had Nurse GPO when this was still there was still in circulation. Numbers five and six are the two ordinary pitties. They misspelled pitties. <laughs> is it the info? I'm not gonna read that because I'm, I'm just stuck on time. So I don't have that much time, honestly. This is a little bit more difficult to open. The link tag is not helping. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, the link tags are now separate pieces. I actually know these are separate pieces. Like, look at the link tag. It's wrapped around the whole plastic shell. This is one. Yeah, only got rest of this one later. You see, I think that's from the, the short. Oh, we're going to break. Did they take the ice from the final web collection? You, it's the first time they've seen burn facing the, the audience. On, on the film, it's only seen like this. Number 119 from the... Tiebreaker. The muck things or whatever it's called. Just like Chuck, he's got the little poster right there. But for the link to this. We have a bubble with the text in Comic Sans? Yeah, we're gonna ignore that. I like the spectrum side as well. As you can see the whole car in om in almost all angles. 
Why are you talking? But yeah. Let's open my first ever particular ice variant. Burn. Collect by color. Piston, yeah, piston cup race day. Green. We type is radiator springs, and this is like this is dining cup. You see, you can see Charlie Checker and Jay Dumbo. In the Little I versions, and also Michael in the Little version. Interesting. And now we're getting to the last two, which are the 20 weapon 2012 packaging for air for the correct card bag for Eric Laney. When he first came out, he was a he had the art for the Jap for the Japanese Grand Prix Flagman. Now he got the proper card. I think that that was the Porto Corsa uh, race Flagman. This is the correct Flagman. And it's named after Eric Landy. Oh, these are yeah, really good. Anyways, let's get to Eric. Uh, the correct card back Eric. Oh. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. It's my first ever white man from the Disney Cars franchise. I never got Dexter, Fuber, and Chris Rostovsky. Of course, one and three respectively. So, it's the first ever licensed flag man include if you include the the Japanese country flag man and the London one. I don't know if the London one does appear in the first two. There we go. You see the nick tags are one piece now. It's got the carbon fiber background with a unnecessary white trim. Oh, I forgot to show you the car bag. The back of the car bag. The Hudson Tony Pitch to Club McQueen, which is number 26. Bindo. These three, are, these three are become pretty rare nowadays. So it's Bindo. Now we need a custom for the Piston Club McQueen from Taiwan. Because we have seen this guy from since 2017 with the Boogie Bomb series. Very interesting. Take my, my second to last. No boxing. And it's the check of flight. Really small check of flight there. And simply just put this on. And should click. Oh, I, oh, I missed it. No. Yeah. There we go. It's. There we go. It's quick. Turn and it will never come up again. Uh, tw international 2013 and mid early mid 2017 car back. We got Artis Ramon from the whatever the series this is, the McQueen something. I'll tell you the name of the series when I get when I finish recording this video. Thankfully, they went away with um, international car packs because we don't know what this is. Because we don't know what the series is. I remember seeing a video from Piston Cup Productions where he didn't recognize the series. And that was the Thai Dictatura re release. We got the US card bags. Mexico, uh, There we go. Artist's room from the McQueen Pain series.
And see, the name tag is only the car for some reason. It's my second and my third ever Raboon. My first ever Hot Wheels from the 2000s, and it is the blue variant of the Toyota Seneca Pikes Peak kit from the Racing Win promo back in 2002. So, so I was while I was um, looking for stuff to buy on Shopee. I saw this one and was for about 150 pesos, which is about just slightly above the retail pool for mainland hot wheels here in the Philippines. It's really difficult. There we go. Um, yeah, just the, just the cold day, I won't show it because I don't want to rip the tarp bag. Yeah. Ah, there we go. It's just like the majority, uh, not majority, uh, matchbox for the best of, the best of, mm -mm 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 stuff from just recently. I think you got it. Ah, it's quite hard with this laser. Hopefully, I got it on camera. I think that's it. There we go. Another, another anticipated high speed Celica. See, this is the look have. And pretty much made it harder to um uh just cut it and cut it. But here's the code, here's the thing here. You peel you peel the thing right here. And then there you go, you peel. You can get the code and then you go to the now different website and you can it. And this will be the second end cap. It's the green light 1996 for this with from the 1997 Rally Monte Carlo for Yuha Kinkinen and Yuha Repo. So I just finished. Okay, so, okay, so I just finished cleaning up all the bags. Just beside me. But I can't show it because it's really messy. But, but, but yeah, let's just get right into the, into the review. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can, so I'm gonna go with Hot Wheels first. This is the blue variation from 2002. I can focus here. No temple work on the front, as usual. Inside, you get the Hot Wheels logo in red, and then the racing and type face. With the fictionalized versions of the, the car suppliers, and then the number five, and then yeah, the number five on the side on the rear fenders. No time for work on the rear. I just, yeah, no time for work on each side, but yeah. Same side, it's the left, and then in, on the roof, it's in black with the same, basically everything, except the hot wheels logo doesn't have the flames. Interesting, interestingly enough, the wing um, and splitter are separate pieces. That's not part of the base, surprisingly. And this custom was made back in 1997 from Thailand. I actually, actually like this custom. So now we're gonna go with another hot wheel. Most it's the Fair Lady Z32. From the recent case of World of Classics. In yellow. Ooh, okay. That's enough for his There we go. 
What's it? There we go. I have to manually focus it. Um, as we get to the front, this is where I actually put my tail for. I actually put my tail poses on the cream, on the cream line. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. So we get to the front of the Z32. I was a bit my tongue there. We got printed headlights, the Nissan Rage, and zoom in. Come on, the first in the logo. Jesus. Yeah, it means. Yeah, that. Yeah, the Nissan Rage. And then onto the grill, we got the Nissan Tight Face. With the fog lights and the. Time markers, actually, not so and they're blurry. <laughs> I've seen uh, the the recent recent released Hurricane Mustang, the Mustang that was from the two pack, and it's really blurry. I didn't like that. Uh, <laughs> we got we got two we got the two bands down there, and then. And then more grill. Side, uh, you got the side marker on the roof fender. And then just like the uh, main line, you can just go to green. At least decently sculpted doors, door gaps, the handle, the glass cap. And then these really funny looking mirrors. And then we got rims that don't match the car at all. And then in the rear, this is where you get to see the blurry details. The 300 jet heads, the Nissan, and the. Is, I can't read it because it's so blurry. Look at that. Yeah, twin turbo. Why? What the eye is pretty much just illegible at this point. So are the and the tail lights are pretty small. So are the reverse lights. What's going on there with that? <laughs> is this a? This is made in. Well, I think this is made in Thailand. Okay, so just like Disney cars, this is made in Thailand. You got the you got the brake light and then the California and then the obviously fake California plate saying is that extra the text said extra bro I zoom in there you go and here's the base again if you're interested oh <laughs> there you go this is the base Made in 2018. Surprisingly, P32 should be the third, second week of 2021. Surprisingly, no A track. Surprisingly, no purchase destination. <coughs> and now we're gonna go with Tommy's car. The Land Cruiser L of LC70 Land Cruiser from Tommy car in the main line. Bumper is the same as the Jack Road Service, except the, the full light housings are painted. The title crook, the logo is, is not that like, crooked. This mine got crook, got a crooked logo. There you go. You got the. What do you call this again? I forgot. The doors, the. St is it called the step? Something. Okay. Got. Okay, I thought it was the ball. So the fake mouth flaps. And then. Okay, so. The interior is in. 
It is plastic and it's grey, other than the black. Black that was in the Jeff Road Service car. And you got paint tail lights. And then the truck is plastic and it's kind of sleepy. Not much else to say. And the fact that you got clear headlights. You need grill. And then the front is it's not painted, so. And then here's the base. Should be the same as the normal, the non truck version. And now we're gonna go with a pre the premium series. The Sora in black. The first race to remember the initial release commemoration and variants of the Toyota Sora in the premium line. We got. Come on. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. There you go. From Achinona. Clear headlights with the indicators. We got the side markers in amber. We got the grill. A blank number plate. This whole group part on the just below the splitter is not painted, however. <laughs> on the sides, it's... Mm, that is not how my uh, Tommy managed to make this. We got, uh, we got a temple here. So. 24... Val twin turbo and then on the bottom of the car it's in silver with some sp green very really nice I think this is I think this is gun category very brother and metallic gray yeah you can definitely feel the texture of the the government the gray component the panel this is a little bit there. Back, you got on the back. Uh, um, you got the painted badge, silver panels on the clear tail lights, blank number plate again. You got the exhaust pipe, although the housing is not painted. And then you got, I think this would be the, the markers. Nothing else to talk about. Silver panels. And then the interior is in brown. In a sense. Yeah. Kind of like burgundy brown. Look at the, look at the dashboard. Look at this. Is that chip? I'm pretty sure it is. Here's the. Oh, here's. Here's the yeah. Here's the base. If you're interested, we in the twenty week. It should be of twenty twenty. So within the pandemic, it's amazing that Tommy still produced um, castings during the state of emergency. The state of the, what what Mattel did, right? Or the display first line. I know we're getting but yeah, we're now getting to premium territory here. First up as you know, we start off with Amer an American brand Green Knight. And we starting off with a car that first of all was not American and second of all, um this is operated not by American but by Malcolm Wilson. We've got clear headlights with nothing 
I'm talking about. Come on, focus. There we go. You got fog. You got fog. I think they're separate pieces. The Valorant logo. And the work of fog like housing. Housing. Which are not painted. Obviously. You got the grill. I think these are. I think these are plastic. I think these are painted, yeah. But yeah, you got the zoom here, the Michelin logo. Re, re, re tiny though. And then you got the Michelin logo. Oh, but in the circle. So we got a Roger Clark tribute. On both sides of the frame, this looks like you can see the drawing, you can see Clark's face, but not the text because it's quite, quite small and, illeg and illegible. Now, we got the side marker, yeah, you got the OZ logo on the side skirt, we got the Sparkle logo in black, the Balkan logo in the tight face, just overlapping the door. We got whatever this is. Sorry, my bad. Um, I want to focus, 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 focus. Yeah, sports, whatever that is. No, yeah, sports, something. I might have to look at that tutorial in the middle of the video. Um, you got the Light Lino Picks, which is the title sponsor for the Rally Monte Carlo. You can think this number for that rally. And then we got the Rally Monte Carlo, this time in text. And then the stroke surrounding it. And then colored by the Rally Monte Carlo, the text. You got the Ford Blue Oval. You got the Draper Nation. You got the Draper Nation there. Although the um, although the windows are not are actually not transparent, only the windscreen is. You got you have Kinkin and then you have references names with the finish flag on both sides of the rear of the side windows on the rear window before we go to the windscreen. You got the blue, you got the two blue elbows, and then the hex chain 30 meters of ice cord. You got the rally sticker for the 1998 edition. I think this is 1996 or 7, I forgot. Um, you got the number, the entry number, the writing one in color. Oh, it's on the front. You get the, yeah, the, the bonnet. And got the sticker again and the blue oval and then the windscreen wipers are painted pretty neat. On the windscreen the the, the little text logo text logo just with the just without the text and then the escort badge in high face. On the roof you get the Number plate again, and then the blue oval. Same size as the left. Nothing else to. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. You have the mission and logo. The circle. Very in white. And then the bowling logo on the rear wing end plate. Painted tail lights, since you should know by now. You got the long year style plate in blank. The Ford logo. Oh, sorry. The Ford logo. And then the Balkan logo and. Actually, no. The Balkan logo and the typeface in white. Pretty neat. And here's the basic if you're interested. Made in China. 
So now we're gonna go with Mini GT and then it's the Real Yellow CR variant of the S2000, the AP Blue version, Blue variant is out, so you got it now. Um, I actually do probably get the blue one because I need need both the CR and the AP variant. But anyways, I at the front of the CR variant. Get that. I don't like mold, a little molded on the badge. You can kind of feel a little bit of the tiny bit of the texture. I got the <coughs> painted tail. I got the clear headlights with the painted with the housing. Drop. I think part of the the chassis. And then the headlight details are painted. Pretty neat. And the grill, which is also maybe part of the housing, not the chassis brother. I'm sorry, so you got the two repeaters with the S2000 badge. Can you see me? There you go. S2000 badge and you see our badge in black. Pretty nice wheels. A decent mold. Door gaps, handle, and then the gas cap. Mirrors are metal. And then, same thing has the headlights, pure headlights, painted headlights, and okay, painted lights. To get the rear proper though, you get the brake lights in kind of red orange. It's kind of red orange. Actually, no. It's also it's red orange on camera, but it's actually not red orange in person. That's kind of weird. You got the CR bad, badge. If you can zoom in, there you go. The Honda badge in silver. And then we got the Honda dealer, dealer plate with the exhaust housing. Exhausts with housing in or painted. I can let me replace that. Two exhausts with painted housings. There you go. And the antenna is rubber. Thankfully, it won't come up now. And then the uh, spoiler has painted, painted supports. Pretty neat. Also, we yeah. You got the rooftop here. Pretty nice. And then um, a blank interior. Windscreen. And here's the base. If you're interested. But yeah, that that's it. Um, but that's not all of it though, we're gonna go with the Disney first stuff. So we're gonna go... Oh, sorry. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna go by the movie order, or should I say, the installment order. So we're gonna, so we're the, we're gonna go by installment order, and then we're gonna go first with Chuck Manifold, a background character. A char background character probably I can't remember where he appeared from I think he appeared in the Los Angeles International Speedway he's a background character he's got blue eyes and an indeterminate expression a silver grill and tempo headlights these are arm blurry these aren't as blurry as the Z E2. Looking at you, Thailand. Yeah, this is when China was still producing diecast. Fifty-nine EA. Yeah, I definitely need to learn how to read that. Um, silver door handles with a black trim. Kind of almost like 
kind of killing like white wolves with silver, sub, uh, silver rims, white rims rather, white rims. Can you tell lights? Nothing else to say. He doesn't have a blade. <laughs> I mean, he's just got a background character, so yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a blemish there. I might have to try to clean them out once I'm done with the video. I don't think I can. Don't think I can though. I'm kind of like black panel on his eyes. Oh, it's got a little bit blemish there as well. Oh, no, sorry. So it's not only his white rear fender, but it's also his eyes. Damn it. <laughs> oh, yes. Kind of got a mouth right back then. Yeah, one of the cars back then had mouth rates. Now you don't like that. Yeah, you don't, don't. If if you don't know what a mouth plate is, though, um, these are plastic. This is plastic. This is metal. So the, the two colors don't match. Now we're gonna. Yeah, let's go to. Um, let's just uh, continue with cars. Um, who should we go first? Cruising Ramon. I think here. Here's in the night scene at Radiator Springs, I can't be too sure there. Because hey, my memory is kind of... My memory is kind of not starting to go away. Oh. Or should I say, fading away. Pretty neat. It's got a chill expression. Painted in trim. I actually like this Ramon. <laughs> it's gonna be like red with a kind of like a, it's not even white, it's kind of like beige. A, a beige paint job. I like this room or something. As you see on the artist Ramon, it's in gray with a silver lining, no, it's red lining, rather. rather. I got the side markers, it's not even side marker. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, it shows up this red, a little bit of a red orange as well. When it's first, it doesn't, it does, yeah, it's a little red orangey, both on camera and in person. <laughs> yeah, you got the lumps, you can get the plate. Very pain, very iconic. This Ramon. This is back. This is back when they didn't put the. What's it? Yeah, it was on the Hydro Ramon. But you can see it. The Radiator Springs. The Radiator Springs Town logo. Here's the base. Made in China. You got the code right there. Now we're gonna go with race official Tom. I should probably pick up race tow truck Tom if I can. Because I don't have either this guy or race tow truck. So. One, well, one thing I noticed that this guy is cheap. So I might get a extra from 2015. <coughs> Just like Chuck, he's got a determined expression. Brown eyes. Got a blue and yep. Little pink job. A livery rather. Official text. It's kind of off center. Yeah, it's kind of off center. <laughs> Painted like a NFL referee. <laughs> Nice time to work. Lecturman with his five spoke wheels. I don't know whose wheels was this originally. I think he, this is from Race Official. I think Race Official Tom was the first to have these rims and then carry over it. So. He's the, as you know, yeah, I should probably show it after. The official typeface with the E 
Vertex cut off. I guess with the plate there. <sighs> it's not zooming in properly. There we go. N927. I can't read the text on the top. <laughs> so how squishy is it? Black panel. And then black paneling for windows. Windows are plastic. Um and they're in a really weird color. Yeah, that's pretty much race official tone. And here's the base. Different color. Um what do you, ooh, that's it. Let me go with Vern with the lenticular eyes. <laughs> yeah, the eyelids don't match with the color. So, personally, the mouth plate does kind of match with the color of the base. <laughs> Should be this actually, no, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same template so as the XO right now. Not X, XO. Rescue Sword Jupiter. Okay. Okay. Grill, although it's kind of out center. It's kind of weird expression when getting to Los Angeles International Speedway. Gray mirrors. You got the you got the room sign in there, and it's really off center. It's pissing me off. Probably, yeah, it does. Yeah, that's mm, yeah, it's a surprising match, given that it's plastic and metal. And the weird bumper is also it's a separate piece. I think this is metal. Yeah, it's metal. Should be metal. I think this is plaster metal. Can be too sure. It's, a, it's got the same wheels as an axle. We have blue trimming and so so we're lining for the dish black win black plastic windows it should be the same base as Excel not can talk about that painted ah then shoot painted tail lights H four I E from using there box box and then oops my bad and then you got the Verne's fancy logo and it's in some faded condition look at that I just to talk about that other than the tinker eyes although yeah he does look like he's got four eyes in certain angles but you can kind of cover up There you go. Just the base. This, 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 this. It should be the same. And now we're gonna go to Cars Tunes. It's the only Cars Tunes car that I have. Other than there's GTO. Mr. Squad Trooper. Um, Rescue Squad Trooper from the same series as, you know, Mr. GTO, Rescue Squad Mater. And it's the same as Axel as Axel Accelerator, so other than this. We got the so it's own temple work. RST1 vs squad trooper on the boot on the boot vs squad on the top. Should be the same as this as uh Actually, accelerator. Which has his own nicest plate. This is. <coughs> and, and the base is in glass blue one. With the part with the code up there, 
same as Burn and Axel. He's got the same moves as Axel, so and it's quite identical to him. I think he's got different eyes, I'm not too sure though. And then Bro is Silver. Right, so we're going with Cars 2 now. That's the last two. And then go with. Yeah, Artist Ramon. Yeah, he appears on this paint job. And he paints McQueen to his. His World Grand Prix. When McQueen transforms to his World Grand Prix. He. Livery. And spec. So that. Pretty happy expression. Kind of lime green with yellow linings. And then a yellow stripe. Go red linings for the yes, low stripe fins. Just, just below the silver. You got more yellow lines, and then you got a nice looking stripe in yellow with the Swedish blue. With two yellow lines just cutting off. Four lines cutting off. It's one one weird thing that the stripe is kind of overlapping the silver fan, the silver linings, the silver panels for the tail lights. This time these are actually new, really red and not red orange, just like the unlike the cruiser one. Pull it out, yeah. Yeah, it's really red and red orange on the Cruiser remote from 2007. Same plate. Lawrence, no. Yeah, this is only on the hydraulic variant, not on the normal variant. Black plastic windows, of course. So we dish with a black a uh, red line. Pretty nice room. Although it's not my favorite. It's the base if you're interested. And then we're going down to the Waska Eric Lindy from 2011 slash 12. You see F12 Civic. I mean, it's got a Europe, it's like polite for some reason. No Civic badge. But it does have the Honda badge on the tail lights. Really tiny check of white there. And some kind of wobbly there. You got the World Cup logo on both sides, and then the glove on the bonnet. That's it. Side mirrors are part of metal. It's a kind of green white eyelid with dark brown out, dark brown eyes. Happy expression for some reason. <laughs> it's not the same testing as in cartoon. You said we should definitely be in the same customs in there. But for some reason we just baby fight him. Airplane me. We got the head exhaust which are separate which is a separate piece. For sure each of these are pink. These are part of the casting. I can't tell if it's plastic or metal. Because it's matte. Because the rear, rear bumper housing is so. is um, matte black with. mixed in. Uh, glossy white. glossy finish. Yeah, it's a. it's a mixture of both. That's. Mattel didn't even finish this paint in the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the plug Here's the base. 
Um, yeah, that's it for the review. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. Um, what did you guys get for Christmas in 2021? Let me know. But that's it. But that. Uh, but that's it from me, Johnny Club Time.